hello friends welcome to joy of life so today we are going to do a hard problem from lead code the problem number is 51 and it's one of the famous problem the n queens problem so the description uh, says the n queen puzzle is the problem of placing n queens on a n into n chessboard such that no two queens attack each other given an integer n return all distinct possible solution to the n queen puzzle each solution contains a distinct board configuration uh, of the n-queen placement where q and dot both indicates queen and the empty space respectively. So let us look at the examples given and try to understand the problem in details. So here uh, you have been given with a uh, board size of 4. So we have a 4 cross 4 boards. And uh, the possible solutions are these and these. And we need to return like this. So in, in this, you can see this is a dot. This is a uh, Q. This is a dot, dot. This is dot, 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 Q. This is Q, dot, 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 and dot, dot, Q, dot. So the solution is, you can see over here, it's uh, like the one that we have seen on the board. So uh, what is the problem basically? So to understand the problem in little more details before we deep dive. So if you place a queen over here, you cannot place any queens here, here or here. So if you see that if I try to come up with a solution with, with this, the next queen that I can place is over here. If I place it over here, so there should not be any queen here, no queens here, no queens here. And um, yeah, anyways, uh, we can ignore this row. So on the next row, you can see that we cannot place any queens. So this is uh, crossed out by this uh, queen. This is crossed out. This is crossed out by this queen. This is also crossed out by this queen. And this is also crossed out by this queen. So if I place a queen over here, there is no way I can come with the solution that I am looking for. So if I place it over here, so if, if you go by the solution given by them, so you will see that if you have a queen over here, so these cannot be used anymore. So if I have this, so these cannot be used anymore. So if you see this, uh, look at the solution, you'll see that no queen is under threat of any other queens. So they all are kind of safe. So we need to identify how many uh, safe configuration we can find and we need to come up with the answers in this fashion. So if you have five, uh, if you have a five into five, then there will be uh, five over here so we have given with a four and four so we have a uh, for each of the four rows we have to answer one two three four so there are two possible combinations that can be formed one is this uh, this one starting here to here the other one is starting here to here so we'll look at the solution in more details and uh, uh, before that as i always recommend to give it a try yourself and uh, see if you can come up with a solution uh, so we have taken the example uh, from the lead code where n equals to 4 and we have also taken a, a chessboard of size 4 by 4 wherein we have marked it with also numbers so that it's easier for you to understand. We have markings like A1, B1, A2, B2 and so on and so forth. So uh, what happens over here? So when you are given with an empty chessboard and you have no queens and you are supposed to fill up uh, the first row which is this row over here so what are the valid choices that you can make over here so all these are valid choices because there are no queen and if i have to place one queen that queen will never be under threat right so uh, what we are doing is we are trying to see our possibility space at every level and then go to the recursion so at the first level of recursion there is nothing on the board and what are my valid choices at this level is we have all the all the choices are valid over here so let's start with A1. So we at level one, there are four choices that I can make from A1 through D1. So let's say we choose A1. 
So if I place a queen over here, what happens is these cells are not accessible to me for the next row, right? Because they are under threat of this queen. So if I place a queen here, this queen, this queen over here can kill this queen, right? So that is not a valid choice for me. Whereas the, uh, the other two cells, which are C2 and D2, they look pretty safe and a, a, a queen can be placed there. So if I, if I make a choice that is A1, my next two available choice would be uh, C2 and D2. So C2 and D2 are the choices that I'm left with, right? So let's say I, and um, mind it, we cannot place in the same row. So I'm not talking about them. So th that is negated by itself, right? So when I uh, say put a queen at C2, what happens is for the next row, my these options are gone. So you can see here that from C2, there is no way it is possible for me to go into level three. So if I choose A2 and then I make a uh, choice C2, then I cannot proceed ahead. So this is taking me to a dead end. So I am not going to use C2. Let me see if I can make use of D2. So, so if I put a queen over here, what happens is my these options are gone. But I still have a, a choice to make at uh, B3. And let me draw the lines. So this um, denotes the uh, different level of recursion. So you can say this is my level one, this is my level two, and this is my level three. Okay, so if I make a choice at uh, B3, which is over here, what happens is my oh god i am again left with no choices so b3 is also pushing me to a dead end so d2 b3 and i do not have any other child under a1 so we have explored the possibility space that if i place a queen at a1 that it, do i have any other uh, choices to make and i see unfortunately there is no choices that uh, i can make so a1 could not uh, make it so what we'll do next is we'll check with uh, B1. So now we, we put a queen over here. So once I put a queen over here, these choices went off for me. So the only choice that I am left with is uh, D2. So D2 is my only option uh, going with B1. So if I place a queen at D2, what happens is my these options are gone. I can still I can still afford to uh, put a queen at a3. So let me uh, take that into consideration. So a3 is my viable option. So I put a queen over here. So once I put a queen, what happens is I check what are my eligible places over here. So as you can see that if I put at a3, now I can put one at um, c4. And let's say this is my level four of the recursion. So when I come to C4 and put a Q, and I see that my level is four, which is my N as well. So at that moment, I know that this path, this path, the entire path is a valid configuration for me where no queens will be under threat. So if I remove this uh, crosses from the table, what you will see is no queen is attacking the other or all of them are, are safe. So if you say this queen over here, diagonally it can go here, this side. Uh, anyways, uh, at the row and column, there is nothing. This queen is also, also not attacking anybody. This is also not attacking anybody. So all of them are safe and nobody is attacking anybody. So this is one valid configuration that we have found B, from B1. But uh, Keep in mind that we still have C1 and D1 unexplored and we can find more such configurations from there maybe. So let me put a queen at C, uh, at C1. At putting at C1, what happens is my these options are gone. And uh, the only choice that I have is a, a A2 from C1. So let's say I have a choice A2. And I put a queen at a2 and uh, for the next row my valid choices are only this cell which is um, 
D3. So D3 is a valid choice for me. So let me put the lines. Okay, so I put a queen at D3 and what I see is my this option is gone, this option is gone, this will be attacked by it and I still have a choice to make and that is um, uh, B4. I place a queen at B4 and what I see is that I have reached the level 4 of the recursion again. So that having said that, that means that I can have a valid path which is not putting any queen under threat. So I have found my second options, second option from here as well. As you can see over here, this is my second option. So here also if you look closely that no queen is attacking any of the other queens. All of them are placed safely right now we have we still have one more um, uh, choice to make at the initial level that is uh, that is d1 so if I put a queen at d1 what happens is my these two options are gone and I am left with two choices a2 and uh, b, b2 So D1 can have two choices, A2 and B2. So let's say we are putting a queen at A2 and putting a queen at A2, what it means is my these options are gone. I still have C3, uh, only option that's spawning out of A2, which is C3. And if I put a queen over, uh, queen at C3, what I see is that my this is not a valid option. So I see that again I hit, hit a dead end over here. So C3, A2, so no other uh, child of A2 is available. So this path is a dead path. So I still have B2 to look at. So what I'll do is let me uh, remove from here. So I put a queen at B2. And placing a queen at b2 means that my these options are gone. This is also gone. Oh my god. I instantly came to a halt, right? Uh, b2 cannot be proceed any further. So my this option is also gone. So as you can see here, there are two valid paths that we can, we can figure out from here. So these are the two paths and all other paths are leading to a dead end. So what is the basic idea over here? So I have a possibility space at every state. So when I am at this level, I have a possibility space which is equal to the uh, size n, right? I can place anywhere. And now I am trying that if I place it over here, what is my possibility space? So that has been depict all my uh, possibility is coming out of a function, right? A recursive function basically. So, so what are we checking from this function? That initially everything is empty. Then we are putting uh, putting a, a queen at a1. When I put a uh, put a queen at a1, what is happening? I have two choices to make: c2 and d2. If I go at c2, I cannot proceed any further. So I fall back and go to d2. And from D2, I can see that I can go to B3. But from B3, I cannot proceed any further. So I fall, fall back because I, uh, I, I did not complete the board uh, fully. Then uh, I see that A2 has, A1 has only two childs. Then I fall back to the uh, main function again. And I start exploring B1. What if I put at B1? Then I have a choice at D2 and then at A3 and I could see that I could find a path over here. So this is how this entire problem breaks down into uh, different choices. So at every level if you look look closely that you, you have some possibility space and we are exploiting this poss possibility space to see where we are meeting our uh, exit criteria or the success criteria. So these are all my uh, exit criteria. These are also exit criteria, but they are not successful exit criteria. The, this, these two are my successful exit criteria. And when we uh, write the code, we'll also see that how this will uh, this will be mapped into code, right? So let's move over to the code and uh, look at the solution. So this problem states that we need to list. Uh, we need to uh, send back a list of list of strings. So the first list will contain these four elements. Second list will be contained these four elements because n is 4 and we need to 
put them put those two lists inside a list and send it back right we have to create the result list something like this so this would be uh, my answer to the problem as well right so let's say this is my result equals to what we are going to send back once we are done processing our result right so what are we looking for so we are looking at the board right so we need to maintain the state of the board somehow so we we are given with the n n means the size of the board the rows and the column so let me create a uh, create a boolean array wherein we will mark so if you remember remember from the solution what we did was we we mark crosses and queues right right so we are going to create a two dimensional boolean array over here and we are going to call it let's say the board and uh, it will be of the size which is uh, nothing but n right and then uh, let's say we will uh, we will have to have uh, so we um, in the problem talked about a function which is uh, calling itself by filling up that row and it's passing on to the next row right let's uh, so uh, our this function is named as solve and queens so let's say we are um, having a method called solve and what what is this method required so it need to uh, need to have the board that we have created right so it should have the board because this board will help it to tell that what we are going to uh, what are my valid choices in short so and also the row that we are filling for so if you remember we we explored row one and then uh, passed it on to row two and so on right and also we need to keep accumulating the result that we are finding right so let's say that we are also passing this result as well so let's call it results okay and what we are going to do is uh, so basically we need to come up with uh, uh, with, with the answer uh, exit criteria first so what is our exit criteria so at any point if i see if my row has uh, reached the board length so what is board length board length is not, nothing but n right so here also if you remember that our exit criteria is when we reach level 4 so we are creating a boolean array of, of size 4 right so the same thing we are doing over here so we are creating a board uh, uh, if, if we are seeing that we have come down to the board that means we have found the results right so it is ready to be add to our results and what we are going to add we need to identify from the board that we need to we, we need a representation like this right so what is the condition of my board this board over here or this board over here so all this will be represented by a true right so we need a function that will uh, help me convert my two dimensional array that we have into a string representation which will be something similar to this so th there are four rows right and you can see that each of the row is represented like this right so what we so what do we need over here so when we have come to this state so we need to get a list of string right and what does this list contains this list will contain each of the row like this so there will be uh, for uh, for this example n equals to 4 there will be four items in that list and they are nothing but these items over here so let's say we create this method so it's um, supposed to uh, get board as list okay and we get the boolean board so what we are going to do we are going to say uh, we are going to first create the result that will be returning back so list of string say result equals new array list of string and this result is not uh, is what we are going to return at the end 
So what I'll be doing, I'll be simply iterating over this uh, two dimensional array row by row and uh, then looking at each of the columns. So I'll be using uh, the standard uh, two dimensional array iteration loop over here. Since it's uh, M into M, so what I'll do is uh, it, it will be same. I could do a board I dot length as well, but it's not required because they are of the same length, right? So what I'm going to do is, uh, so we are going to do a lot of string um, string operation, right? So let me take a string builder SP and uh, let's create a string builder. And uh, for each of this, uh, for each of this row, what it will do is it will start appending and it will what it will do is it will go and check board ij so if board ij is true what it's going to do is it's going to put a queue over there and if not what it will do it will put a dot right so they wanted us to put a dot or a queue right so for each row when i am done putting all these dots and queues what i'll be doing is i'll be adding that to the result so this will give, uh, give, uh, give me the board as the list that we are looking for so let's say we are putting over here the board right so this becomes my successful exit criteria. So once I reach this condition, what do I need to do? We don't need to do anything. We are just going to add the result and we are going to return back. There is no need for any further uh, going because there are no more rows. My, uh, I have come to the final, uh, final row and processed it successfully. Um, so at the current row, when it is empty or, or at any row, what I am doing is I am going through the board's length. So let's say uh, this is my board, right? So let's say this is my board. What I am doing is I, I will be going and checking is this row safe? Is this row safe? Is this row safe? So at every point I need to make a call that this is, is a placement in this row makes my queens unsafe or not or safe or not whatever either of the one is fine so at every state what i'll do is i am having n options right and for n options so these are my n options i'm starting from zero and going to the board's length so that is board dot length is nothing but um, uh, the n so what i'm going to do is i am going to see that board so i am i am solving for this particular row right so for this row and for the i itself for, for, for say uh, 0 8 row 0 1 0 2 0 3 and so on till till n i am going to see that it has to be false because it is initialized with false initially right all, all the values are false so if i am marking it as true that means that cell is has been taken and we should not uh, we should not try to uh, use that cell so it has to be false and and we'll write a new function that is queen safe here or not so i know i am making a new placement and i need to check for for my board and for um, sorry row and uh, i that is my queen safe or not so we'll we'll come to this function or not uh, so what this function is going to do this function is going to check horizontally vertically and diagonally that is there a queen anywhere so so just imagine if i am placing a placing a queen over here if i make placing a queen over here so when i start when i start filling this row the second row i have to check only down because i know there is no queens at the top yet so when i am put, putting over here so i am checking this diagonal this diagonal this direction and i know uh, in this direction this is the only queen so basically i have to validate this this and this right so that will be implemented in this function and we'll we'll see to that so it's going to be a boolean function so which will tell me a true or a false and uh, the name is is queen safe so it will take the board and it will take say in tie in j so 
rest all remains the same i am just taking the queen that i am placing at this moment which is this queen this queen placing this queen is a safe option or not right we did let's say this is my row and this main column because i am using i so at any point if i see that if row and i is true if my row and i is true or my boards i and call is true so if this condition is ever met i can simply say that no this queen is not safe how i am saying this is because you see that i am keeping the row constant so if it is like uh, the third row i am checking 30 31 32 32 and so on so let's say this is my third row right so i am checking 30 31 32 32 and also i am checking board i call uh, call 3 so i am checking uh, 0 0 3 1 3 2 3 3 3 so that if there is any true that is found i know that a queen is sitting over there so uh, so this loop will ensure that i am safe both horizontally and vertically from my position right okay now i need to uh, need to check diagonally as well right so uh, let's say i initialize two more variables so int i equals to row minus 1 int j equals to call minus 1 i'll say that while i greater than or equal to 0 continue this loop and and j greater than equals to 0 continue this loop right so i am checking the diagonal right so i will i'll i am i have to just ensure that there, there will be two loops like this one for this diagonal one for this diagonal so this is the check that i am doing for the first diagonal okay so what i'll be doing over here is i'll be continuously decrementing i and decrementing j so let's say i am at this point i am placing a queen here so what is the value 0 1 2 and 0 1 2 3 4 so this is nothing but uh, 2 4 2 4 right so i am decrementing so i am starting from here and i am decrementing both so i am going diagonally basically this is a diagonal movement towards my left top corner right at any point if i see that uh, again that board ij is true that means there is a queen i will say that return false right and now for the other diagonal what i'll do i and j is already initialized so i am going to say row minus 1 and call plus 1 sorry j equals to so if i am here what is the value of this cell so i am decrementing a row but incrementing a call for this cell over here relative to this position right so i have initialized so when i am say putting for this cell so i am starting from here and i have to continuously go here so to so to move in this diagonal direction what needs to be uh, what needs to happen both my i should decrement and j should increment so my row should decrement so this is 0 1 2 3 say so this is 3 1 so what is the value of this cell this is nothing but 2 2 0 1 2 0 1 2 so i is row is decrementing but column is incrementing right so we are going to put that same logic over here so just instead of uh, doing both decrement now i will just increment my j and at any point if i get a true again i'll return that this is not possible this is a invalid choice and i'll say that return true if none of this condition is met that means i i did not find a queen which which that can attack me and at that point i can simply say that yeah it's it's safe to place a queen over here and what i'll do is i will update my board so board row and um, this is i so we'll mark this as true true means i am putting a queen over there because i found it to be a safe position okay 
so this will only return true for these values that you see over here the one in blue and red circles for nothing else it will it's going to return a true and then i am going to proceed with my solve function so in the solve function i am passing a board for the row i'll pass a row plus one because i have filled for this row and i am now i want to look for my next row right so i am going to pass row plus one and result is something that will pass as is we are not making a change this change will be done if this condition is ever met right and once we are done so if you remember over here so when we were uh, done with b1 when we found a path for b1 or a1 so when i moved from a1 to b1 we 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 cleared we deleted the uh, we de deleted the queue from here right because we, we want to consider the other option so once we are done exploring over here so what i will do is for this value what we have set to true we have done exploring it so we will set it back to false again right because we have used it and checked it now we are so for a1 we set it to true and we have checked the entire tree now we want to check for b2 so i have to set a1 to a1 back to false otherwise i will get the wrong answer so that's what uh, the resetting that we are doing over here right and here also now let's call our main function that we'll be using some typos over here so let me change it so i'll solve for the board and uh, i will solve for the zeroth row first and i'll pass the results to it right and uh, since we are not uh, making any use of it here in this function so let me create it directly over here let's not initialize it for no reason okay so this is my entire code i assume going by my previous uh, videos that i'll get some errors but let's see as expected error expected minor typos as always i hate myself Oh God, kill me. Chalda. Oh. Too many errors. okay so copy pasting error but this time what what will happen is i is going towards zero but uh, j is go going towards board length yeah finally it has been accepted and you can see that we got the intended result that we are looking for so let's do a submit and let's see for a broader range of test cases yep it's been accepted front time 4 milliseconds 61.72 whatever so i hope you got the concept how we are exploring our option space to come up with the different configurations where queens are queens are safe and how we are translating that into result and then returning it back i hope uh, you have uh, liked the video do give it a like do subscribe as well and uh, thank you once again for watching it uh, we'll be creating more videos in the days to come also there is another npin 2 problem which i'll be doing shortly so once again thank you have a great day see you soon guys bye bye happy coding